Okay, so some pretty big updates dropped this week for some iPad apps that I use every single day. And all these apps are from major companies like Apple, Microsoft, and Adobe. So we're talking about some really big apps here. And so I don't know if January is just the month of big updates, but man, they sure did it. And they did it subtly too. There were no really big announcements. They just sort of dropped these updates on me. Hey everyone, Tech Dad here. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you three major updates that I saw on apps that I use all the time. And I thought these updates were pretty big big deals. And one really blew my mind because I was just complaining about this issue in a video last week, something that my iPad couldn't do and hasn't been able to do for years. Well, suddenly it just got fixed. So without further ado, let's jump into these updates. All right, so update number one that I want to discuss is on Microsoft Outlook. So I was working in my project management job this week and I saw an email come through from a coworker and it had a whole bunch of attachments on it. Well, for years, you've never been able to download multiple attachments at one time you got to click on each one individually and download it individually. So I started this process. Well, all of a sudden there popped up this button that said save all attachments. And I was like, wait, what? They put the button in? And yeah, they sure did. And so now you can use this to select all the attachments at once and then save them wherever you want on your iPad. I was like, oh my gosh, that is huge. And I know you might be thinking, Tech Dad, you could do that on a computer years ago. I know, I know, but the iPad has never had that feature. And in fact, I think the Apple Mail app still can't do it. So you still have to select each attachment one by one. So I guess Microsoft must have watched my video and learned from it. Thanks, Microsoft. All right, so the next update I want to talk about is on Final Cut Pro for iPad. So this one was pretty awesome. I just opened up Final Cut like I always do pretty much every day to edit video. Well, there were these three dots next to transitions, titles, and graphics, which normally indicates that they put something new in there. And indeed, they have. And so one thing about Final Cut on iPad is that it's more locked down than the Mac version. So you can't get all these plugins and add-ons. You pretty much have to work out of the box on what Apple gives you. So when they give you a bunch of new stuff, it's really nice. Nice. And so now we have new titles, and so there are new ways for text to enter the screen, which I thought is awesome. The animations look really good and clean. And of course, you can customize them and change the colors around and things like that. There are also a bunch of new transitions that look pretty darn fancy. I'm not usually a big fan of transitions. I don't do them a lot, but maybe I need to look into them more. They also have some new graphic effects. So you can have things like arrows fly onto the screen, half circles, all kinds of different graphic effects. I'm going to have to take a look at those as well, but that's always really nice nice to enhance your videos when you have those features added. And I use Final Cut Pro for iPad to edit all of these videos that you watch. So it's really nice to have some extra tools. All right, the third update that I want to talk about is on an app that I use every single day for graphic design, and that is Adobe Express. Okay, so if you're like me, you have no graphic design talent at all. And the thing is, we all have need for graphic design sometimes. Even in my project management job, in my teaching job at night, it's nice to be able to whip up a flyer or maybe remove a background from an image so you can put it on a PowerPoint slide, make it look cleaner. There are lots of times when we all need graphic design. Well, it's clear Adobe made Adobe Express for folks like me. So it takes a lot of the thinking and expertise that you need for graphic design and just simplifies it. Well, Adobe has now made some fresh, clean tiles. So when you open the app, you have some clear options options on how to move forward in graphic design. So maybe you want to start from a fresh template and they have plenty of those, especially for social media. So if you're on TikTok, YouTube, or whatever, they've got templates for you to get started. But they also have just very simple graphic design tools like editing videos, for example. So you can remove backgrounds, you can change image sizes, which is often needed for website design and all kinds of other things. And it's all quick, painless, easy, and the app is free and has been free. I've been using the free version for over a year now. Works great. And so it was really nice to open that app and see a fresh new redesign on the home screen and see these new tiles and just see that the app is much more organized. So if you need graphic design in your life, try out Adobe Express. It's free and it's really good. All right, so those are my major updates for the week that just dropped out of nowhere that made me really excited, honestly. I know for some of you, those might not be big deals, but when you work on the iPad every day, all day, those are actually big changes. Let me know if you have any questions about any of those updates. I'm happy to help you out. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, Content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.